So I've got this unboxing here that I'm pretty freaking excited about. This is the HTC One, and it is a phone that you can't lay it down on on this side because you scratch your screen up, and you can't lay it down on the other side because you scratch your lens up. So it's like you've got to set it down very, very carefully and hope that no one bumps the table or your phone doesn't somehow move, and then you scratch up your lens. And then you got to get a replacement phone, either through warranty or by paying out of pocket, which is very expensive. So let's unbox what is in here. This is from Sadio. Let's get our unboxing knife here and open this up. All right. Let's do this. Holy cow. So we've got these two things and that. That's just like an order card thingy majig that has your order information. Let's go ahead and flip each one over, shall we? This is, oh, it doesn't say how they're like freaking, you know, it's a guessing game. <laughs> so let's open them up. I'm, I'm excited if you can't tell. That's nice. Very nice. So what's up in this? Well, this is a belt clip. That's all it's in there. Oops. Didn't mean to drop you. And that's another belt clip. I'm sure one of these is meant for the active and one of them is meant for the um, surface. Surface, surface, surface. Ooh, what is, is, is that a, is that what I think it is? Huh, not sure about that. Extra carbon printed pad, it says surface. That one doesn't come with the thing, so. Go ahead and try on the surface first. Oh, okay. This is the carbon thing. So like this one will go down here if something was to happen to it. And then this would go over like the lens. So that's cool. They include extra ones in case something happens. Very nice. So this just comes apart. And then you take one end and you slide down the bottom here. I used to be a huge fan of the active cases, but I really think I'm going to rock this surface case. Dude, that is freaking awesome. That is wow. And it's not going to come apart. You've actually got to like lift down on one part and walk and pull. It's a little bit of a, you've got to struggle a little bit, but it, I promise you it does come off. That is wow. And it feels really good. I can't even begin to describe it's like a really soft rubber. Like, it's not mushy. It just, it feels, you would have to just buy one and feel it in your hands. That feels awesome. I guess you can kind of use the kickstand part here as like an extra grip to firmly hold on to it. And that just flips out and it's magnetically held in place. So it just can lay down on a table like that. And you can, you know, watch Netflix or something. This is this is awesome. I will be rocking this case. Now let's go ahead and get this off. You like push down on one part while pulling the other. Hopefully you can tell that's not easily coming off by accident. So I needed to show you this. Your volume up and down, there's a nice gap in between them. Like it's not your with um some of the TPU cases I've had, the this part right here that goes over the screen. It wasn't like, it wasn't laying over it like this one is. It was kind of like sticking out, but it made the button a little bit hard to press. Like you had to hit it at an angle. This is not like that at all. Sadio makes absolutely amazing cases and products. That is awesome. So you still have your IR blaster. Oh, on my uh, second channel, which I always link to in the description, I was able to use this to control my Comcast Xfinity TV and my um, Vizio soundbar, and my TV. So uh, if you want to check that out, a link to that video will be in the description below. Of course, your um, 
3.5 jack, your camera and your flash. So when you lay it down, it's not going to scratch up that. That is one thing to consider though. When you lay this phone down, like if you're trying to type on your screen, I suggest picking it up and putting it in your hands when you're doing that. Now let's um, try to break this out of its case. <laughs> one thing I've got to say real quick is with this, the kickstand's almost directly in the middle of the phone. So when you lay it down like that, it's not like one side super heavy and one little tap and it's gonna fall over. So that is pretty nice too. All right, the instructions say to press and keep pressure on the finger groove on the back, gently pull the top half away from the device, slide the bottom half off. I was having a heck of a time getting this off. No matter how much pressure I applied to it, the top half would not come off. And I was at the point where I didn't know what to do. I want to thank Sadio for sending these out for review. But I do want to say something. This is very hard to get off. Once you put this on your phone, you're not going to want to take it on and off, on and off, on and off. At least not this particular one. Because the instructions say to press down on it and lift up. Well, mine's not doing that no matter how much pressure I apply to it. Whether I go on this little thing right here or in the middle or whatever. What I did find out was that if you take a card and you get it in the groove, if you slide down on it, that will break it free. So just get the card in there and wedge it out like that and it will come out. I will still use this case because I really like it, but just know that once you get it on there, it's a booger to take off. But with the help of a little bit of plastic, Getting it off is not that hard. Now we'll move over to the active case right here. Pop that out. How to assemble. This is a two-part case. So th and this used to be my favorite one, but I think I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm going to go with that surface one this time. So you wrap this around it like such. And then you take this other part, you line the camera up with it, wrap each edge around it. And there you go. It looks sick. I like it a lot. And it's it's the same as the other one. It's in the middle. So you can like watch a Netflix movie. Or you can watch a YouTube video. Or you know you could be Skyping with somebody. Doing a front facing video. You know there's all different kinds of uses for this kickstand. So it's, it's pretty freaking awesome. And it's the same concept applies with this one. When it's on the table. And if you're trying to type. You are going to move it around, so I do recommend holding it to keep it steady. The uh, kickstand is a little bit higher up on the surface because of this back door, so that's just something else to keep in mind. And then you have the little holsters if you get the combo with the belt clip. Okay, so this one right here is meant for the surface because it is a it is a smaller, smaller one. So like... This, of course, the surface will fit in the bigger one, but it'll move around in there. So it fits in the active one fits in the in the uh, belt clip that it's meant for perfectly. And this is one of those ones that rotates. It it only goes up to that direction, and then you spin around to go to the other direction. So it doesn't make like a full rotation, but it's still you know pretty good and it's really stiff each turn so it's not going to spin around on your belt without you actually forcing it and making it do that to get it off you can undo the thing or you can just simply do this and it comes off like that you you're putting it i don't recommend putting it in that way it literally just takes seconds to wrap each edge around it getting a little excited and messing up and then put this on it there we go that's nice i will be using this case for sure that kickstand is incredible and that's a deal breaker for me when it comes to cases for phones i have to be able to set my phone up on a table and watch a youtube video or like if i want to do a video using the front facing camera and put it on my second channel. I also like being able to do that without putting my phone inside like a uh, eye stabilizer phone mount or something. And you can take it off doing the same method you use to put it on by taking off the exoskeleton. 
and then you can pull off the soft. It's like a nice rubber. I I really love these active cases. I do, but I think this is gonna be my case of choice right now. So there you have it, folks. We have the active case on the left, and we have the surface case on the right. If you've seen any of my other videos on cases from Sadio for like the Note 2, for example, I've always been a huge active fan. I love the exoskeleton design and the way it feels in your hands with the soft rubber right here. But my wife has been, every time she gets a new case, she always goes back to her Surface case for the S3. And I'm really feeling the Surface case myself. So how it's supposed to work is when you push down right here, it's supposed to like release it where it easily goes back and forth. I think the issue with this phone is that it's such a tight fit that it there's no room for it to travel and go down. But in all honesty, there's no SD cards. There's nothing at all that you're not going to have access to. So there's really no reason you would take this case off in the first place. Once you put it on... I mean, you're that, there's the microphone for the noise canceling on the back, your camera, your flash. I mean, charging port, the bottom microphone, absolutely nothing's getting covered up. And there's no reason you would need to take it off. And if you did, it's not the end of the world. I just recommend getting a card, sliding it across there, and it will release it. That's just my personal recommendation if you're having trouble getting this to come off. I'm sure once you do it a few times, it'll become looser and easier to take off. But it's just such a tight fit and there's no real reason for you to take it off in the first place unless you're wanting to try out another case. Which again, I can't stress that you can take it off. It just takes a little bit of patience. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. Links to these cases, links to follow me on Twitter, links to everything you need, plus my YouTube playlist full of HTC One videos will be in the description below. This is What Would Josh Do? And I'm out.